What's going on guys? So today is going to be all about the lovely matcha, one of my most favorite things in the whole wide world. So we're going to be going over how to do a matcha latte. Better than Starbucks, better than your baristas, better than everybody's because it's all homemade um, using super high quality ingredients. So let me show you how it's done. So a few things you're going to need to make the matcha latte is a bowl. So I definitely recommend a traditional matcha bowl, basically because it's flat on the inside, curved on the side, so it's not going to be splashing. But with your whisk, that's going to be the way you get that nice foam from the matcha. So speaking of the next green is the whisk. You can find this on Amazon, I'll do some links below, but very essential for a good matcha. And then you can usually find a kit, so it'll kind of come with all of this. But this is gonna be your scooper, so how you kind of like measure out the matcha. And this is how you're gonna be, how you're gonna work through everything. And then I like to use a little bar strainer. So this way there's gonna be no clumps in the matcha. And that's what this tool is for, to kind of work the matcha through. These are the things you're gonna to need to make it. Now let's talk about the matcha. So matcha, the quality is super important. Basically gonna find two types of matcha out there. You're gonna find a culinary grade and then a ceremonial grade. So culinary grade is you know, best if used for cooking, baking, things of that nature, but it's kind of have, has like a dirt kind of taste to it. You're not gonna get a nice foam from it. So I always use ceremonial grade. So on Amazon, there's a few good ones. I uh, get one from Sprouts called Aya. So it's a ceremonial grade. And you could tell by even just looking at it, um, Mm, and the smell. So you should almost get a little sweetness to it and it should be vibrant green. That's how you know you have a pretty good matcha powder. So now that we have the get up, let's put it all together. So we have our bowl here and we have the strainer. I like to put it on top like this and then we are gonna scoop the matcha with our bamboo scooper and then we have our matcha here. So if you don't have a bamboo scooper, I'd recommend using Kind of like a teaspoon um, is a good serving size. So I like to get a nice scoop, kind of tap it out a bit. So that's usually the amount I'll use. And then I'll add right to the strainer. And now you want to get your other tool. And this is what we're going to work the matcha through. So you can see it's breaking up all those clumps making it snow matcha. Who doesn't like a matcha snow party? You know what I'm saying? So boom, so yeah, once you have it all worked through, you can see here, it's nice and powder form. This is gonna allow for a really kind of silky, um, smooth, nice matcha. So set this aside and we're gonna move on. So now you want to grab a pretty small saucepan and you want to simmer one third cup of water. And the trick here is you really do not want to boil water for matcha. That's going to burn the matcha. You're going to taste it. So you want to keep it a nice simmer. So basically easiest way to go about that. Once you start seeing the bubbles, I would pull it right away. If, you, if your water is too hot, what you could do is you could actually pour the water into the cup, pour it back into the pot. This will actually um, cool it down a bit. So again, what are we all gonna do? Do not use boiling water. So now that we are almost ready to go here, I wanna give you guys a little pro tip with the whisk. So a little tip for you, make sure you wet the bristles and then kind of shake off. And this is because if you don't do that, once they are hardened, the little ends break up. So they're gonna fall into the matcha. Um, it's not gonna whisk as well. So always wet your bristles. Safety first, kids. So we have the water heated up perfectly. So now you're just gonna add this to your bowl. 
And now take your whisk that you soaked, and then we're gonna whisk the matcha in zigzag motion. Kind of like a zigzag M. So you could see back and forth, and as we're whisking here, it's starting to foam. That's how you know you're getting close. You see, if you look, it's nice and foamy. There's no clumps or anything, so now we are set. Now that we have our finished matcha, I just grab a coffee cup, and then just pour it in. And now, we're gonna top it with the almond milk. Next step to a good matcha latte is obviously the latte part, the milk. So, you know, I stick to paleo usually. So I always use an almond milk. I do a homemade almond milk, so it's nice and creamy. Really gives you that latte vibe to it. Um, I'll include the link below to the almond milk video if you guys wanna check that out. Please do. And then, you're gonna want some sort of foamer. And then I also use a uh, Breville Cafe Racer. So this actually steams it and uh, foams the milk. If you don't have something like this, all you really have to do is heat up the almond milk on the stove top for a little bit, again, until it's simmer. And then basically just add everything to a small blender. You'll still get that effect. So now I'm gonna add my almond milk. And let's get the party started. And you could do a little, you could do some dancing when we're waiting. That's like the pre-matcha drink dance. You're like, yeah, I'm ready for this matcha, baby. Ooh, ooh. How like an owl, do what you want. Live your best life. So I have my almond milk that's been heated up. You can see it's nice and creamy. It's always best to kind of swirl it. This way it's gonna distribute the foam, give you a nice latte. So now we have our matcha in the cup. I'm just gonna add the almond milk right on top. And there you have it. That is the matcha latte, my famous matcha latte. I've had a lot of people try this. They absolutely love it. And again, to sum it up, matcha, you're gonna get what you pay for. So get a quality ceremonial grade matcha. Um, use a really good quality almond milk or you know whatever milk you drink. The better quality that is, the better it's gonna be in the latte. Hope you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like this video and subscribe, please subscribe, and cheers. I'll see you at the next one.